Also, guys, as you can tell from the title, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if I haven't been posting or uploading at all lately or anything like that, it's just because I've been playing this. Just been enjoying it by myself here, and it's a really good game. So I'm basically in New Orleans right now. It's called Saint Denis, is what they'll call it, because you know, not the right reason. And that's basically it. So we're just gonna do basically. I don't really want to. It's no, I'm gonna. It's basically just a walkthrough. Now, I am not starting off on chapter 1 because I've already been playing in a bunch. This will be chapter 4. I'm gonna just... You can just chill here for now. Okay. So, we're gonna meet up with Dutch. Apparently. I'm just... Alright, I gotta go meet up with Dutch. Different headset, different microphone. There's not a filter on this one, so I want you guys to take on it, see how you think. Would you excuse me, sir? Blazes? What are you like? I need to just screw screw around here. What the heck was that? This place isn't really that great for horse travel, is it? There's not a lot of roads or anything. In this sort. Excuse me, good sir. kind of driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to go to the barber or something. Yo. That was there. Oh, it's John. There Never you mind. are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This on place. <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. John is not okay. So basically what's going on, guys, Excuse Jack me, has been captured, which is Bronte. John Marston's son, who is right here. <laughs> You get your boss down here and, and now we're so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Trying to basically do that. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. I have to brought my rifle. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. <laughs> the jazz hands will walk up the stairs. I probably just blew in the microphone. I'm sorry. Hey, apologize. Hey. He's a Winchester. Yeah, guys, just have car by me. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. 
But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? And just Indeed who you think have. you are. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> Why are we drinking with the guy who kidnapped his kid? So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. That was strangely odd. But I'm not gonna question it, it's okay. Um first off I want my rifle. Just give me my bolt. That's all I ask. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Yeah. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's Trying okay. To up there. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Me too. I already hate this city. This city sucks. I like the open country way better. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Where is up ahead? I ain't hitching nothing. That's what I'm get off and chill. I don't want the repeater. I want pump. Oh, and thank you. Give me the pump and 
Oh, you fuck. This way. Just to make sure this is working. Come on. Okay, we're good. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Doggo Birkin. Hey, did you hear that? Uh, see someone running. Is that thing like that, sir? Oh, hey, Doggo. Shush. Hey there, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. Yeah, I just tried to disrespect it, that grave. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. In a very sour mood. Of all the ways I thought today was gonna turn out, this sure weren't one of them. I'm wandering around a grave with a gun. Same. I will shoot you right in the patootie hole. This is difficult. He's bad. Let's go check it back to the cemetery towards this way. Let's go check out that woman was running. Is that bad? Just because I don't trust it, I'm just going to shock him. Pistol. Oh, my microphone. I'm trying to eat you. Boy, find my puppies, watch it. Do you want to steal my puppies, watch? Oh, nice Damn movement. It. How many do you see? Three, four, or two. Ah! You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Careful, they're bleeding us out in the open. I'm just going to move on. I'm pulling a shotgun still. Yo, I'm rushing. What nice guy. Where is you? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I got the fat right here. Oh. Oh, no. I 
can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the oh. drink. That's not really oh, behind. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. This is so difficult. No. No mercy. What? Should you quit running, sir? You made a big mistake coming in up. Oh, what you want? Speak again? shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time nah he's just got that much heavier come on let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off oh I'm sorry Like I said, let's look around where they jump. Um. I think there might be something in here. Mm, I found a little bit of money. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. That sounds bad. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Come on. I just paid a bunch of bounties for this place from getting in a bar fight. Like a couple bar fights, so. Coming this way, get down. Through this, I'd say we're good. Just keep going. I need this. Me too. Why don't you go left? I'll keep going straight. All right. Oh well. Thanks for just clearing the entrance for me. Shouldn't be doing that. 
Let's go, girl. Jack, if we get Jack. Again, Jack is John Marston's son. John Marston is the person I'm writing with. If right, let's you get this didn't done. know. Because I know there's some people who are a little slow. And they're going to be commenting like, who that? Come on, Arthur. I sound tired just because it's late, so. Get this over with. Shut up. Oh, hold on. Bro, I really need Well, it. you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! Yeah, yeah real simple. They were basically game. Oh, we gotta go back to camp. Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. Camp's, sure basic, okay, camp's basically I'm some fine. old place out of Papa something. Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. Papa Bronte. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. <laughs> How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Get the money first. we need and disappear. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. 
Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can Nobody I likes John because he basically so, left the whole gang well, for a year and it makes everyone feel Mr. terrible. Bronte. So. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. <laughs> Boys, we Man, got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. And I'll be at the barber. <laughs> Cause dang, I have no more. Yeah, I got some move off. Alright, I'm gonna go enjoy this party, but meanwhile, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. You should be expecting more Red Dead Redemption 2. And I will see you on the next video. Peace out.